Hi, I'm Marlon. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, if you watch my channel, I do a lot of guitar projects. I do cigar boxes, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, I've even done some ukuleles. But sometimes the projects don't turn out so well. This is a cigar box guitar that I built from a CB Giddy kit back in 2022. It did not turn out well. As you can see, the headstock looks horrible. The action's way too high. Electronics work okay, but it's not playable. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to see if I can fix this. So keep watching. The strings were removed from the cigar box guitar, and then the guitar was disassembled using a screwdriver. Notice here the neck brace is too short and the neck had to be reinforced with a couple of screws originally. This may be why the neck angle is so bad. A template was used to redesign the headstock. If you notice the tuner holes are on the wrong side. The headstock was recut using a skill saw and I should have cut wider on the template. New holes were drilled on the wrong side and part of the headstock had to be glued. That is why I should have cut the headstock wider. I originally had two right tuners and one left tuner but since I cut the holes wrong I had to use some different tuners. The bone nut was glued back with some super glue. Notice the damage to the fretboard from sanding. Three coats of true oil finish were applied to the headstock. Two holes were drilled into the neck brace and the neck and two screws were placed in an attempt to try to straighten out the neck angle. The cigar box guitar was reassembled and an attempt was made to get a tighter fit with the cigar box lid. The cigar box guitar was restrung and an attempt was made to try to set the intonation and the string height. Unfortunately, this did not work. This is what the final cigar box looks like. I'm back and if you saw the video, I tried to make several changes to the cigar box guitar in order to salvage it. I started with the headstock. So the headstock is smaller and managed to put the hole to the wrong side, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. I reinstalled the nut and I even Try to tighten the lid down a little bit better so that there's no gap between the surface and the fretboard. However, the one thing I was not able to correct was if you look at this right here, there is a bend in the neck that goes up. And I tried to put a couple screws in here to see if I could pull it down but that was unsuccessful 
and if you look here, you can see how high that action is. So I was unable to intonate this guitar, but also the action is so high that it is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to play. So, in retrospect, the main problem with this cigar box guitar was that I messed up when I did the neck. And so the only real way to fix this would be if I were to get a new neck and redo it. But I don't know if I really want to invest the time or the money to do that. Now I did take this same kit and build it with and what I did is I took what I learned from the first time and did the kit right with some upgrades. So you may want to check out that video and see the correct way to build one of these CB Giddy Chicago Deluxe Cigar Box Kits. Hopefully this video has taught you some of the mistakes that you can make when you build one of these kits and also show you that certain attempts at trying to correct those mistakes don't necessarily work. Please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.